Hey everyone, welcome back to Financial Futures. Today, we're diving into one of the hottest topics for those nearing or already in retirement what's the best Medicare supplement plan for 2024? Let's break it down so you can make an informed decision. Alright, so let's start with the big one, Medicare Supplement Plan G. It's the most popular plan out there, and for a good reason. Plan G covers the most benefits with the least out-of-pocket expenses. What's great is that Plan G is standardized by law, which means no matter which company you choose, the benefits are the same whether it's a national brand or a smaller provider. The only differences you'll see are the price and service. Here's the deal prices will go up over time, but some companies raise them quickly, while others increase rates more gradually. When I turn 65, Plan G is what I'll be going for, and it's the plan I have my parents on. For many, it's the Cadillac of plans, but it's important to check if it fits within your budget. So, what's the cost? For most people turning 65, Plan G can run between $100 and $200 per month, depending on your state. That's a solid value considering it covers almost everything after a small deductible currently under $300. What's awesome about Plan G is that you're not restricted by a network. You can see any doctor or visit any hospital nationwide, as long as they accept Medicare, which is practically all of them. Unlike Medicare Advantage, you won't have to worry about your doctor being in network or losing access to a hospital because of provider negotiations. This is why we call it the Cadillac Plan it offers flexibility and peace of mind. But if you're looking to save on monthly premiums, there's the high deductible Plan G. With this option, you pay the first $2,800 in healthcare costs before the plan kicks in. The trade-off? Lower premiums, but be prepared for that higher deductible. This might make sense if you're healthy and don't expect a lot of medical expenses. Just keep in mind, the deductible is tied to inflation, so it will rise over time. This plan is more common in states like Florida and New York, where regular Plan G premiums are higher. But for most people, sticking with the standard Plan G is usually the best move. Now, if Plan G doesn't sound like the right fit, let's talk about Plan N. Plan N is a great option if you're relatively healthy and don't visit the doctor often. The monthly premiums are lower than Plan G, but there's a $20 co-pay for each doctor visit, and you may also be responsible for a few other out-of-pocket costs. Plan N doesn't rise in cost as quickly because fewer people choose it, but keep in mind that if your health changes, those $20 co-pays can add up. So, if you're seeing the doctor a lot, Plan G might be a better long-term bet. Choosing between Plan G and Plan N really depends on your healthcare needs and budget. And remember, when you first sign up for Medicare, you can't be turned down for any plan due to pre-existing conditions. But after that initial window, if you want to switch plans, you'll have to answer health questions which could make it harder to change. This is why it's crucial to pick a plan that not only fits your needs now but also gives you peace of mind for the future. A bigger insurance company may offer more stability, while smaller ones could have higher rate increases. It's all about finding that sweet spot. One thing many people don't realize is that you can switch Medicare supplement plans at any time during the year not just during the annual election period for Medicare Advantage and Part D plans. So, if your rates have gone up or you're not happy with your current plan, now might be a good time to shop around. It's always better to make changes while you're healthy, so you can qualify for a new plan without any issues. If you still have questions or want help finding the best Medicare supplement plan for you, head over to comment section. And hey, if you learned something today, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. We put out new content every week to keep you informed and up to date. And drop a comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Financial Futures.